Wow. Now there's my chefs. Gorgeous. Stunning, right? Hi. I'm good. How are you, chef? Because... <laughs> You look amazing. She looks so cute. You good? Yes, you look chef. incredible as well. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. You look great as well. You Thank good? you, chef. Yes, yes I'm great. Let's chef. go inside. Let's get a drink at reception. I have definitely grown since season 14. The all-star competition has definitely made me a lot stronger as a chef, but I think also as a person. Big smile. It's such an opportunity that I'll never forget. When was the last time you went to an award ceremony? Never, chef. Stop it. No. You've never been to an award ceremony? No, chef. Never, chef. Never been Stop to an award. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd be walking the red carpet with Chef Ramsay. I just came here to compete. Benjamin. <laughs> now I'm here because of all the hard work I put into it. Good to see you. How are you doing, Chef? Nice you all right? Hi. Nice to see you. It's just awesome being able to enjoy the night and relax for once. Hey. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. Take a seat. Michelle, you sit here. Now I'm literally sitting right next to Chef Ramsay at an award show. Thank you, oh, Chef. You're welcome. Thank you. Just you good? Yes. You look yes, amazing. Chef. There's lights everywhere. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the seventh annual California Culinary Association dinner. It's super classy. For Somalier of the Year, Dennis Peterson. This is basically a day in the life of Chef Ramsay, and it's definitely a lifestyle I could get used to. Now, our next presenter is a star chef whose restaurants span the globe and his larger-than-life personality have made him one of the most beloved chefs in the world. Please welcome to the stage, Chef right. Gordon Ramsay. Thank you. Please. This award is for the best newcomer. This year, who knows who the award's going to, but maybe next year it'll be me. The winners are Michelle Tribble, Nick Peters, and Benjamin Knack. Okay, already, here we go. Something weird's about to happen. First of all, I've got a confession to make to all three of you. There's no such thing as a CCAs. Let's get that right. <laughs> all of these, ladies and gentlemen, are here for you three. This is the start of your final challenge. Oh, boy. Now, tonight's top two finishers will become tomorrow night's finalists. Now, let me tell you, this morning's challenge, OK, was a warm-up. You'll be cooking those five dishes right here, right now. All right. Over there. I thought I was going to relax, have a couple of drinks, hang out with the chefs. But um, everything I did in this competition comes down to right now. It's all wasted if I don't perform tonight. All three of you got 60 minutes to perfect those five dishes. And your time starts now. Off we go, ladies and gentlemen, please. Great. With only 24 hours to go before the final dinner service. Good luck, you guys. You too, Nick. Chef Ramsay has surprised the final three chefs with an elimination challenge. Here we go. What am I getting on? They all must now cook and perfect their final menus. Potato puree first. Potato puree, Get yeah. the saffron broth in, please. But only two will advance. OK. So I'm going to start Perfect. my chicken. Okay, good. It's crazy to think that these five dishes could basically decide my fate in Hell's Kitchen. But I feel it in my gut that I'm going to make it into the final two. For the hamachi, I already have that cured. The cucumber broth. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the chicken on now, Chef. Yeah. It's going to take a while. Not getting into the final two is not an option for me. I only got third place last time, and that's not going to happen again. I'm going to deglaze this chicken. I'm not going through all this bullshit, all this drama, all this negativity for nothing. I'm going to beat up okay. on you every day. I'm the strongest member of the red team. You're not. At least you're not consistent. That's bullshit. Your lamb was raw today. Because you were running around frazzled, not knowing no, where you were. you kept opening the oven. Oh, oh. You skated through dinner service tonight. Not. You were not on our side of the kitchen. I stations tonight. Now you're going to have to put your money where your mouth is. I thought you were done arguing. Boop that. So after all that, I need to get into the finale. I added lime zest to the seaweed butter because okay. I needed more acidity. Do you all have a time? 20 minutes down. The first dish is ready. Awesome. Okay. After I get the fillets going, I'm going to start working on shrimp, chef. This is the biggest challenge yet. Someone's going home, and I need to be focused on the dishes, but at the same time, I can hear 200 people cheering my name in the background. 
You don't have that many people around you while you're cooking it can be intimidating, but it's amazing. You ever cook with an audience before? <laughs> no, chef. <laughs> chef. This is definitely the biggest crowd that I've ever cooked in front of before. And this is a lot of fucking people. It's definitely sink or swim time. We are cooking for our lives, and this is it. I think what tripped me up last time was my uh, my hollandaise and beurre blanc. So I'm gonna get that going now. Learning from my mistakes from this morning, my beurre blanc is turning out perfect. My hollandaise is turning out great. And you know, I'm putting my heart and soul on the plate, and I, I hope that Chef Ramsay sees that tonight. And you're watching these carrots snicker. Do you need me to keep an eye on them? Uh, I'm watching them, Chef. 30 minutes remaining. 30 okay. minutes. Thank you, Chef. 30 minutes. I am super prepared for this challenge. I just want to take all those notes that Chef Ramsey gave me earlier and change these dishes a little bit to make them the best that they can be. I'm going to use a little bit of yuzu butter on this steak. Yep. Is this enough peas in here, Chef? Or do you want yeah, more? Yeah, a little more, please. With Chef Ramsey's feedback, I've taken every single thing he told me and I adjusted my dishes. Did yep. you try everything? Yeah, everything's good. good. This is finished. This is needs to be finished with butter. You know, I'm going to change my plating on the shrimp and grits like Chef suggested. I'm going to go with a really beautiful, elegant, white bowl. And this time, I think he's going to love it. Last yes, 10 minutes, OK? Yes, Chef. Feeling OK? Yeah, this is yeah. definitely more of what I'm looking for. Between Michelle, Benjamin, and myself, I'm the only one left here that has made it farther than the original season. I've definitely grown the most out of the three of us. And I'm going for the finale. Yeah. Chicken is out. Chicken's out. Start plating? Yeah. That's the deduction. Yeah. OK, sounds good. Mm, OK, go on this way. Last minute, here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Hands up. Well done. Let's hear it for our three finalists, please. Michelle, Benjamin, and Nick. Chefs, well done. That was an incredible 60 minutes. Now, your dishes will be judged on a scale of one to ten, but not decided by me. We have five incredible judges, the executives in the Caesars Entertainment Group, and one of you will become the head chef of the flagship Hell's Kitchen Russian at Caesars Palace Las Vegas. I don't think I've ever cooked for anybody that important before. I think it's a little disturbing that Chef Ramsay is not making this final decision, but these people are like big wigs, and, and I really want to impress them.